1977, it has a set uh, 80 microprocessor. Uh, it originally came with four kilobytes of RAM, uh, but this one has, this is a, a, a later model one, uh, so it, it has 16 kilobytes of RAM. The starting price was uh, $600, but uh, depending on, on what uh, options it came with, it, it, it could sell up to uh, like $900. Um, uh, it was, uh, let's see, it was the best selling PC line uh, during its time, nine, uh, around the early, late 70s and early 80s. And it even outsold the uh, Apple II. Um, <laughs> let's see what else. At that time, Radio Shack provided all the service and training for this computer. So you could go into the store, they would fix it for you, uh, teach you how to use it. Really interesting. Nowadays, you don't have that. Huh? Anyway, <laughs> so initially uh, I got this computer, it, uh, just the, the, key, the computer itself and the monitor from someone on, I think it was Facebook. They found it on a storage unit and they sold it for, to me for $100. Mm. Um, but it wasn't working, so I, I opened it up, I uh, uh, tried to fig figure out what was wrong with it. The keyboard <coughs> is connected with a, uh, with a ribbon cable to the main uh, motherboard. And that ribbon cable was broken. The wow. computer doesn't work without the keyboard. Uh, the keyboard is not is not connected. So I had to desolder the ribbon cable. It was so, so, soldered in, and I uh, replaced it with a newer style uh, ribbon cable. Like you know, mm -hmm. um, what else? Uh, I posted pictures on Facebook. I don't know if you yeah. guys have seen yeah. them. Oh, also the the screw posts. Uh, that attach the, the top and bottom pieces, they, th those broke off. So, oh. so I couldn't uh, attach put it, it back. Together, yeah. yeah, I couldn't put, put it together. I uh, I started. In, I got into 3D printing, into 3D design and 3D printing. So I printed uh, uh, the screw posts, and I I just uh, glued them to the first. Of course, I removed the the broken posts, and I glued the new ones, mm. the 3D printed ones to. Nice. They go in on the top piece. Um, then this this uh, board has two expansion. Uh, this computer has two expansion boards. One is uh, the, called the Level Two ROM upgrade that uh, allows the, the 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 use of this uh, uh, number keypad. Because this computer didn't didn't come with a num number keypad on the side initially. It, it came with a logo, it, same like this. The same logo was in this oh, okay. area. So <clears throat> with that ROM upgrade, it allows you to use this. And then the other expansion board uh, is uh, to fix an issue with reading tapes. I don't know exactly what, what the issue was, but uh, but it, the computer had problems reading. Uh, it, was, it wasn't reliable, so uh, Radio Shack uh, installed that free if you brought it into yeah, the store. Sure. Um, those two expansion boards were mounted with... Uh, double-sided uh, uh, tape, uh, like foam tape, and that had disintegrated. So I, I, I had to, I, I designed uh, uh, 3D, I mean, mounts that I 3D printed, and so I'm using those. Wow. Um, the, the door for the side here, for, for the expansion interface, it connects on, on the side here, um, was missing, so I also, <laughs> design a replacement door. I didn't have the original door, so it was kind of tricky to design it, but it worked perfectly. Now I, I, I've, I got uh, the, the original door uh, on eBay, so I've got a bunch of, uh, where are they? A bunch of uh, little, because it uses a bunch of uh, doors on the side. And okay, like little covers. Like covers. Slot covers and stuff. Yeah. I don't you know all about. Yeah, I got them on, on eBay recently, so I was lucky enough to that someone was selling all the doors for it. Wow, great. Um, what else? Okay, so this, this thing on the back is the expansion interface. Uh, it allows you to connect uh, that uh, this floppy disk drives to the computer, because uh, originally this uh, only has a connection for that uh, data uh, cassette recorder. Mm -hmm. So with this wow. expansion interface, you can connect hard drives, disk drives, and, and a printer. Um, it, it also has uh, 32 kilobytes of uh, RAM. And um, 
Is there any disk or hard drive in it? No, no. It only allows you to connect, connect. the stuff to, to the computer. I <laughs> do have a disk drive, but of course I, I forgot it. Um, I have the, the cassette recorder. I haven't tried it yet. I have a brand new cassette. It hasn't even been opened. <laughs> wow. Candy computer products. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to open it. Then I have this ori original disc. Nice. Certified, no less. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking for a uh, disc case, floppy oh. disc case, and I found this one. Oh, I wanted wow. a bigger one, but this is what I found. <laughs> what else? Oh, the power supply wasn't working when I got it, so it's, I had to open it up and, con and solder back the, uh, the leads. This one what else? Oh. I haven't. Uh, uh, play around with software too much because I don't have a way of uh, uh, transferring the programs to the disks or tapes. That's my next uh, mm -hmm. step. Mm -hmm. um, but it works. It wasn't working up until two weeks ago. Um, sometimes I do get the image uh, gets distorted and goes to, to the side. I don't know. I think it's something with a computer, not with a monitor. So I have to figure that out. Black and white. Um, it's in pretty good condition. I mean, yeah, it looks yeah. really good. Oh yeah. This, when this was first released, it was just called the TRC. Oh yeah. That was a huge TRC. Oh, after when they released the, when the following yeah, one, when they had the model two. They had to <laughs> name it Model One. Yeah, but when it was first released, it, it was just called the Radio Shack TRC computer. Yeah. So, um, I really like it. Uh, yeah. yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. Cool. This was the first fully assembled retail computer to hit the market because before that they were only in kits. Yes, I was kit reading one. about that. It was someone that recommended the I think they beat Apple to the market. But Apple won up them with, with color and sound, which just did yeah. not happen. So. And floppy. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Stuff. Yeah. Nice. A work in progress. You want to look, uh, Do you know who Peter Bart who Peter Bartlett is? Bartlett Labs. No. But he makes a lot of TRS-80 accessories. There's one that's called the uh, M3SE, the Model 3 System Expander. It replaces that whole expansion. Oh unit. yes. And so there's a lot of these aftermarket things you can uh -huh. get for all your yeah. TRS-80s. So. I, I know there there's also a, a flash drive. Uh, yeah. Like yeah. Compact whatever. flash hard drive. Yeah. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. Yeah. 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 Anyways, this is the first computer that I uh, got when I got interested in retro computers. Um, I wanted to uh, get, uh, get into gaming, you know, games, DOS games. Um, so I went on eBay and started buy, buying the components. Um, my wife thought I was crazy getting <laughs> this old computer. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I put it together uh, with uh, different, you know, good components. Uh, don't ask me. I know I have the... Uh, I forgot already. This was like two years ago. Uh, the ad yes, lip uh, sound card. <laughs> <You know>? uh, <laughs> I forgot what yeah. graphics card. Anyway. Uh, I do have this uh, mic, um, yeah, Ooh, chip. Yeah. It's, it's the, the fastest Pro? Pentium 3 microprocessor. It's got two, two a Latin or something like that. I haven't oh. had time to install it. So it's the fastest Pentium 3 processor that was produced. Is that the 1.3 gigahertz? No, 1.44. 1.44, yeah. wow. I don't know what, what was the norm. Uh, I think about 1.1. 1. 1. I remember vaguely back in the day, uh, the distributor was telling me they had problems with the the one three. They weren't like pushing it. I uh, barely remember. <laughs> so I, I did. Uh, I had. I didn't have any. Oh, I installed a Windows 98. Um, I didn't have problems finding uh, uh, the drivers. The graphics card, I got it uh, brand new, uh, so it came with the CDs and nice. the drivers. Um, I forgot the sound cable, the uh, cable, so I can't connect these speakers. I also I search for nice. Uh, those are nice. Speakers. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have some big subwoofer over there. Wow. wow. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is that they're so big that uh, <laughs> I end up just uh, using headphones. <laughs> <laughs> but I have played. Uh, uh, a lot on this computer, mainly Half-Life. I haven't finished it, but I started playing Half-Life. 
I like how nice that tower looks. Yeah. It's not I, yellowed. It's not I scuffed mean, up. I, the, <laughs> I treated it the same way that he treats the apple. Tree. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I took everything apart. I cleaned it's it. Very nice looking. Yeah, it's, it's really clean inside. <laughs> um, what else? I still need uh, a power supply because I want to have in there. I also posted about this on Facebook. It's not uh, the right size, so it's like putting with one screw. Um, and 